Jaundice is the yellow discoloration of the ocular conjunctiva, mucous membranes, and skin. Jaundice is a clinical sign indicating hyperbilirubinemia, and the terms are often used interchangeably. Bilirubin is a normal breakdown product of hemoglobin, and jaundice can be thought of as prehepatic, hepatic, and posthepatic causes. The clinical evaluation of jaundice requires a stepwise approach. First, confirm and classify the hyperbilirubinemia. In general, jaundice doesn't become apparent until the serum bilirubin levels are two to three times the upper limit of normal, usually greater than 50 micromoles per liter or three milligrams per deciliter. When checking bilirubin levels, it's important to also check for conjugated direct and unconjugated indirect bilirubin levels. This along with the results of the abdominal ultrasound, liver enzymes, and liver function tests will help you determine the underlying pathology. Second, consider the differential diagnosis. One way to categorize the causes of jaundice is by looking at whether the high bilirubin is predominantly unconjugated or conjugated. High levels of unconjugated bilirubin can be due to increased bilirubin production, secondary to hemolysis, impaired uptake of bilirubin by the liver, or due to impaired conjugation of bilirubin within the liver. High conjugated bilirubin levels can be due to intrahepatic diseases, such as hepatocellular or cholestatic liver disease, or extrahepatic biliary obstruction. Third, plan management. Determining the underlying cause of the jaundice will help direct you to the most appropriate therapy. The most common causes of jaundice are liver infections, liver insult secondary alcohol and toxins, and obstruction due to gallstones. Remember, prevention is often better than cure, and patients need to be educated on minimizing risk for viral hepatitis, safe alcohol consumption, and managing risks for non-alcoholic fatty liver disease.